Hello there, autumn has arrived in the Northern Hemisphere and I think it might be my favourite season when it comes to creating a makeup mood or cohesive colour palette. I naturally lean towards a lot of autumnal sort of shades, rosy browns, brownie reds, terracottas. My everyday makeup routine recently had an autumnal antique rose colour theme and I shared a chocolatey brownie berry tinted balm video last month. So make yourself a cup of tea, light a candle, goodbye hot girl summer, hello sad girl fall as someone called it when Adele released her new single recently. This video is kindly sponsored by Squarespace, part of my ongoing work with the website builder I use to make matildaonvideo.com. Wherever you're watching from, whatever the weather, you can find all of my previous seasonal videos in a blog post linked below. This particular colour story is mixing up my usual autumn mood a bit with more of a milky tea, jersey caramel, tasty toffee, pumpkin spice latte sort of setup. Even though I've never had one of those, they don't exist in Australia. Here are four cream blush formulas from 2021 for a full mood. I've been getting to know minimal makeup brand Merit lately, an overview is on my filming list. Their flush balm is described as a flexible balm for a creamy, transparent veil of colour. Emphasis on the transparent veil, subtle flush with a balmy, dewy finish. Terracotta is a warm, creamy tan, but I like their deep burgundy colour mood too. I swatched all six M Cosmetics So Soft blush sticks recently, one of the standout creamy creations of the year. Soft, so pigmented, but the moussey texture blends beautifully and makes your cheeks look healthy and plump. Pearl Tea is called a brownish nude, a pretty soft tan with a touch of rosiness so it's not too warm or orange toned. Rose Ink launched recently, British model Rosie Huntington-Whiteley's new baby expanding on her beauty blog community by launching products. I had to try the Blush Divine shade Foxglove, a warm terracotta that almost looks like a rich coral or rosy burnt orange. The texture is slightly sticky in the compact, similar to but softer than Stila Convertible Colour, but it settles to a satin and blends evenly. Let me know if you'd like to see more Rose Ink in future. Lisa Eldridge's enlivening blush Dante's Dream was made for autumn. I swatched four of these slightly airy blush colours a couple of months ago. By very gently pushing product up from the bottom, I luckily haven't had any tube issues. A tiny dot of this terrific deep tawny rosewood goes a long way and you can expect a Lisa blush restock in spring 2022. A couple of toasty liquid shadow and palette picks. The Violette FR Year Paint To Do has been my most worn shade from her range. You can hear more about this highly pigmented paint-like product in my brand review, but basically a tiny dash is all you'll ever need. Scrape off all of the excess and still only start slowly to make it easier to sheer out this natural tan colour. Rare Beauty Stay Vulnerable Liquid Shadows by contrast are the most user-friendly liquid shadow I've tried. I'm obsessed. Creamy, pigmented, but easy to sheer out, not patchy and really long wearing. I swatched the range in an earlier video. Nearly Neutral is a warm neutral beige, but it's deeper and rosier than Violette's. One of my favourite palettes at the moment is Dior Mitza, and it happens to fit in this video's colour story nicely. Five shades described as leopard-like browns and golds. Soft shimmers that are easy to wear every day and deeper shades for more drama. My tip is to use a touch of the deep berry metallic in the middle along the top and bottom lash line to make your eye colour pop. I've been enjoying Italian brand Espresso's Clear Brow Gel this year, but their Sweet and Sour palette is an excellent autumn combination of one and done shades that can work together too. The texture is so cool, more like a velvety cream blush than a shadow. A murky nude, purpley deep brown, brick that shears out to be orange, and silvery glitter topper to take you into the festive season. A bit of creamy lipstick and liner autumnal action here. You don't see liquid lipsticks here often, the whipped or fluffy kind sometimes, but this Rouge Dior Forever Liquid formula is fantastic. I started to like it last year but really fell for 100 Forever Nude recently. It's a bit tacky on the lips initially but that doesn't last, the colour does. Weightless once it sets so I forget I'm wearing this dreamy deep nude pink. 
I picked up a few new Victoria Beckham beauty bits to play with. I haven't tried much from the brand since I reviewed the initial launch in 2019. Her posh lipsticks are incredibly popular and now I can see why. They feel really light on, creamy, a bit balmy with a nice soft shine. Pose is a muted mid-tone mauve that's more moody and brown when you layer it. Anyone else in Australia stay up until ridiculous o'clock in the morning to order some new Lisa Eldridge video coming soon? I bought this Enhance and Define Lip Pencil Shade Muse last year when it came in a kit, but it's now sold separately. Lisa's Rosewood Muse family is one of my favourites, and these gel pencils are incredibly smooth. They glide on. I recently revisited the Victoria Beckham Beauty Lip Definer in Shade 2. This neutral beige brown was one of the first products she launched. Not as creamy as Lisa's liners, it has a firmer feel but still applies well on the lips. A couple of weeks ago I think I saw Alana Davison use this shade on her Instagram story with the first sheer product in this next group. Pretty sure it was Alana, I really liked the combination and it kind of inspired this whole colour theme. The Merit Shade Slick Tinted Lip Oil in Taupe was what Alana added on top of her VB liner and it created a toasty light brown lip look. I'm still forming my thoughts on this formula ahead of my brand review video, but my first impression is that these feel a lot more thin, light and almost watery on the lips than I expected. I don't see Charlotte Tilbury's tinted love tubes talked about as often as the rest of her lip range, but I'm a fan. They're incredibly sheer and subtle. Expect a barely there tint on the lips or cheeks, not a dramatic stain. Santa Euphoria is a beachy, natural, warm, peachy nude. Unlike other tints, I love that these don't feel sticky at all, but it does have that usual slightly strange licking an envelope sort of taste. The deepest Persona Cosmetics e-balm shade appeared in my chocolatey tinted balm video, but Meditate is a softer, warm caramel with a dessert-like cocoa butter scent. Vitamin E, shea butter, avocado and jojoba oils make this an extremely rare tinted balm formula for me that actually feels like it's doing something, not just adding sheer colour. Clinique's Almost Lipstick in Black Honey is back. I'm not on TikTok, but I know it blew up over there and is now sold out everywhere. I have YouTube and all of you to thank for suggesting this balmy, warm blackberry to me back in 2018. My recent sheer obsession, Dior Lip Glow in Mahogany, is similar but more of a rosy berry. Let me know if you'd fancy a closest colours I can find to Black Honey type of video. Is fall the best time of year for nail polish? I think it might be. You can find a nail tutorial on my channel and I'm planning to film an updated version in the new year. Olive and June's Back to School Fall collection is full of cosy, collegiate colours. The True Mauve World Lit has been one of my most worn so far. Chanel know how to create incredibly tempting colours and the Muted Berry Rose Confidentielle is one of my favourites in recent years. I bought the Essie colour I'm wearing, Bed Rock and Roll, in New York in fall a couple of years ago, so this rich reddy brown always reminds me of this time of year. But if you want to get darker and go full Bruce Bogtrotter, Essie Chocolate Cakes is a delicious creamy dark brown. It does always seem slightly strange talking about a season when it's the exact opposite in Australia, spring has sprung, but you can always jump to a previous seasonal upload on this blog post on matildaonvideo.com to match the weather where you are. One of my favourite Squarespace features is how simple it is to insert YouTube videos. They embed instantly when you paste links, no funny formatting required, and you can play them right there to work out what you've already watched. If you're wanting to start a blog or website, you can visit squarespace.com slash Matilda to save 10% on your first website or domain name purchase. I'm excited to hear what sort of colour story you've been embracing so far this fall. Spot any familiar products or shades here? Let me know what you're reaching for to celebrate the cooler weather and what will be your album of the season. Big question. Adele 30 or the Red Re-recording? Cast your vote in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you next time.